Well, hello everyone and welcome back to Shop Talk. Tonight we're going to have a look at the uh, Traxxas Bluetooth module and we're going to install one in my Traxxas Bronco transmitter here and it goes right in the back. You take this sticker off and then the module goes inside the back and it basically after you download a Bluetooth mod program there's what the module looks like. It's the same shape as the door here. Uh, then what you do is you get out your tablet or phone and you download a program and set it up on your tablet. You link via Bluetooth to the transmitter and apparently it gives you a host of computer functions and the reason I'm doing that is is that I had to put a new servo the servo in my Bronco there it is there it just blew up at the Brace Bridge Hogwarts and what I've done is I've installed a new high-tech servo Unfortunately, there we go. And unfortunately, when I put the high tech servo in, the uh, the steering was reversed on that servo compared to the stock Traxxas one. So I'm thinking it might be the easiest thing to. I could use the push buttons at the top of the radio use the Morse code thing but I thought well if I put the module in it might be easier to adjust things. I turn right and we go left. So also if it gives me the function of adjusting the throw, this servo and servo horn combination is actually giving me too much throw and I can see it's draining at the end as well. It's draining a lot. So we'll see what happens. So I'll get to work on that stuff and I'll be back in a few minutes. Okay, here we are back again. There's the module and the module in the back has a multi-pin connector there. And it comes with very detailed instructions. It comes with the wrench and a screw that you need to take the back panel off of and the new screw will be for the Bluetooth module. And I'm going to read the instructions and then uh, see what I have to do. I'll be right back. Okay, here we go again. Now, I've got the hatch here. I got it off. That comes from here. So I took the hatch off. And now I'm going to fit in the module itself. I think I'll put the camera down because... The trick with these is, is to align the pins. See there's multiples of pins sticking out here and uh, you have to have them lined up. You don't want to bend them. That can cause real hassle. So you have to be very careful. There we are. Nice. Went in perfect. And the last thing we have to do here is put the screw back in. They do give you a spare screw though, which is really nice. I got to start a little collection here for all my spare screws. There we go. Maybe a little bin. So now, I better read the instructions on the next part. Now it's just to uh, turn it on. I've got to download the app in my tablet and uh, we'll get it linked up to the truck soon. Hopefully it'll do what I want it to do. Okay, I just wanted to show you that I already had the app on my tablet. It's the same one that controls my charger, the live wire charger, and that's another interesting uh, video in itself, what you can do with that. There's the transmitter. I've got the uh, Traxxas Link module installed and I turned it on and I, uh, I asked the 
tablet to link with it, and voila. It was very easy, and right now it's doing an update, so I'm just going to wait for that, and then uh, we'll see what functions it has and go through that. Okay, just wanted to show you um, the tablet's doing an update. It's on part two of two right now, but it's actually updating the whole system, the software and the transmitter, and it's going to make it a new firmware version. It's really interesting. Well, welcome back again. I did the complete firmware upgrade on the transmitter and then once that was done I turned on the truck and got it powered up and then lo and behold it's doing a, another update on the equipment in the truck. Wow. So we're going to wait and uh, says begin. Yep, it's doing it. Pretty interesting. You see the progress bar going across the bottom. So now it's updating my truck. And while that's going on, you can see the uh, transmitter power button is flashing so we'll let it do its thing and it's really interesting it's doing the truck and the transmitter firmware upgrade wow oh, and here check this out while the updates going on look even the ESC is flashing the computer controls everything on this system look, the ESC is flashing the uh, transmitters flashing. Yeah, really high tech stuff. Okay, we're back. And uh, I just wanted to show you this screen here. You can, uh, you can set the servo travel direction, normal or reverse. So I reversed it so this high tech servo is going the right way now. And then you can set sub trim, right endpoint, and left endpoint. And that allowed me to dial this little baby in so that the servo's not straining at each uh, end. It's just perfect now. This is a really nice program. There's not much you can't do in it to uh, adjust everything in your truck. Another interesting note was that that servo was buzzing in the center quite loudly and when the update went through and it, it checked in with every device it doesn't buzz anymore so it's amazing it's a high-tech servo in a Traxxas car but the program uh, adjusted it it's awesome highly recommend to get the Traxxas link module works very well if anybody needs it, the part number is 6511. Quite a nice little unit. In fact, I think I'll store the spare screws and whatnot hatch and everything in here. That's what the box looks like. Very nice product. Thank you, Traxxas. Have a good night.